Sarah, Billy, colleagues and friends, residents of New College, thank you very much for inviting uh, Tina and myself to be with you this evening uh, and for giving me the opportunity to address you. I'm very pleased with the way the residential colleges are working, promoting integration between students from Hong Kong, from the mainland and from overseas. And I gather New College has representatives from 27 countries, so that's a very impressive total and obviously also undergrads and postgrads. I know that New College has it as its ethos, the environment and sustainability. So I hope that you will all have been pleased to see that the university's new vision document makes specific reference to aligning with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We believe we're the first university in the world to explicitly do that. I read from your college website that you aim to encourage people to love and care for nature. Let me tell you that your master and deputy master are leading by example and have been very kind to Tina and myself since we've been in Hong Kong. Sarah arranged a fabulous trip to the hacker village at Lai Chi Ward. We travelled there by boat and then Billy and Winnie led us around the, the village where we learned about traditional farming methods and we ate some of the produce cooked for us by the local people using traditional methods. Several guests who joined that trip, which included consul generals from various countries, have told me since that it was one of their favorite experiences in their time in Hong Kong. Billy organized a trip to the wetlands at my home when my mother was visiting Hong Kong. She's a very keen bird watcher, and we saw some beautiful and rare birds there. Who would think that Hong Kong, known all around the world for its high-rise buildings and dense population, would be a place where you can see rare birds? Billy, you opened our eyes to that. Thank you very much. Billy also took Tina and me on a night safari at Lung Fu Shan, looking for spiders, snakes, frogs, and other wildlife. All these are examples of helping others to appreciate and value nature. When you talk about sustainability and the environment, it's important to take a long-term view. We are the guardians of the planet for future generations. Actions we take now, or fail to take now, will have implications for our children, for your children, and for their children. I will return to the theme of taking the long-term view when I talk about the university in a moment. In a way, being here at New College has already prepared you for this long-term outlook. You'll be familiar with thinking about recognizing our place in the world, the natural world, even though we live in a city, learning the importance of conservation of our heritage, both natural and cultural, living in a way that protects the environment, what do these points have in common? They're all long-term issues. Environmental awareness and sustainability are fundamentally about history and time and continuity. They're about recognizing where we are now and how to get to where we want to be in the future. They're about keeping your eye on the horizon. I feel the same about the University of Hong Kong. We are all transient, just passing through. It's our job to cherish and nurture the university for future generations. I feel very optimistic about the future of the University of Hong Kong. We have wonderful students, excellent staff, and world-class facilities. I spend a lot of my time telling people that Hong Kong U students are fantastic. Just last night, I met a wealthy donor who said he will not put money into the universities at present because it upsets him that today's students are spoiled, unappreciative, not focused on their studies, etc., etc. I told them that in my opinion, none of this is true. I've taught three separate classes here at Hong Kong U. I've met thousands of students at various events, including high table dinners like this one, and on campus, and I've spent a lot of time talking to Hong Kong U students. I'm very impressed with Hong Kong U students, and so are others. For example, we recently visited Oxford, Cambridge, UCL, Kings, and Imperial, and in all of these places, Hong Kong U students have made such a good impression that all of these universities are interested in even closer links with us in the future, including more joint degree programs, student exchanges, faculty exchanges, etc. You can all help me with this positive message. Be ambassadors for the university. Let's show people that the impressions that some people have are incorrect. Let's spread the message. Hong Kong U is great, and it's getting even greater. Going back to the long-term view, you will all become alumni of this fabulous university. 
Remember Hong Kong U and become lifelong ambassadors for the university. Your time here will give you memories, experiences, and friendships that last the rest of your life. I met Tina in the first term of university in the residential hall in which we both lived in London. Ask yourself, have you met your life partner yet? <laughs> I mentioned the prominent place of the UN Sustainable Development Goals in our new vision document and our strategic plan. The other key elements of that plan all begin with the letter I, internationalization, innovation, and interdisciplinarity, all converging on impact. Internationalization starts here at home in Hong Kong. This college is a very good example. It also entails opportunities for all of our undergraduates and research postgrads, aiming for 50% by three years from now, and 100% by six years from now, to have opportunities to study or work away from Hong Kong during their Hong Kong degree. Innovation applies to research, but it also applies to teaching. Just last week, I chaired a panel giving teaching awards to Hong Kong new staff, including an innovation award. We have some wonderfully talented and imaginative teaching staff here at Hong Kong U. There's another reason why I feel optimistic about the future. Interdisciplinarity is vitally important for the future. The world's major challenges like climate change, aging populations, clean water and clean air, terrorism, etc., will all only be solved if various disciplines work together. Finally, impact is important to everything we do at the university. We want to change the world for the better. I said during the Occupy protests that I felt that my responsibilities for Hong Kong students were like those of a parent. I care about you. I want to encourage you to grow and develop, to express yourselves, and to learn about responsibilities. I don't want to dictate to you, but I do feel a responsibility to guide you and advise you, which can be a little challenging when you think about the size of Hong Kong U's student body, because at Hong Kong U we have nearly 28,000 students to both undergrads and postgrads. So I'm a parent to a family of 28,000. This brings me to a sensitive and difficult subject that I want to address. We know that Hong Kong students feel under pressure. Pressure to achieve, pressure to succeed, to repay your parents and families for the sacrifices that they've made in supporting your education. Worries about the future. Will I be able to get a job? Will I be able to afford somewhere to live? And so on. Sadly, in some cases, these pressures have led students to take their own lives. We want to do everything we can to prevent students from reaching that level of distress and hopelessness. But we can't do it on our own. We need you to keep an eye on the people around you, to notice if someone is distressed, to talk to them, and offer to help them. We're expanding the services that the university offers to students in distress, but you can help too. Care about your fellow students, whether they're fellow residents here at New College or not. Provide support to them, or help them to seek support from seniors or elsewhere. If you yourself are feeling distressed and under pressure, please seek help. Please remember that seeking help is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. So taking care of our students is one of my priorities, but what are the others? I'm often asked what my priorities are, there are some challenges that will seem obvious. How does one further internationalize what is already a very internationalized university? How do we negotiate the political complexities of Hong Kong and its relationship with China to ensure that we maximize our opportunities? How do we manage the finances of the university, balancing the things that we do now and the things that we want to do more of in the future? As students and as young people, you will want to make the most of your time at Hong Kong U, and I fully understand that this means live for today, live for the here and now. But every day is a learning experience. Every day teaches you something that will help you in the future when you're old and grey like me. Living for today and thinking about the future are not mutually exclusive. New College has taught you that in the context of the environment. Think about it also in the context of your own lives. So once again, thank you very much for inviting Tina and myself to join you tonight. I hope you will make the most of your time here at New College. I wish you all the very best in your academic pursuits here at Hong Kong U and every success in your future careers. Thank you very much.